This no, thank you. Hello once again, my friends. It's your buddy Fluffle Husky here, and today we are doing something a little bit different. We are kicking off the new year. I know it's almost February. Leave me alone. We're going into <laughs> 2023 making videos again, and today I've got something very interesting for you. Today we are playing Super Mario 64. That's right, a good old fashioned let's play with one of the most classic N64 games of all time. What could go wrong? Nothing's gonna go wrong. Trust me, it's gonna be fine. Oh my God. Who's that behind you? Who's that behind me? But before we jump into Super Mario 64, if you are new to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, like the video, and in the comment section below, tell me, what is your favorite Super Mario game? All right, with all that fun stuff out of the way, let's hop into it. All right, so it has been a minute since I played Super Mario 64. Now, dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool, Peach. Terrible voice acting the other way. It has been a long ass time since I have played this particular game. Uh, a lot of people, when they got their N64s growing up, their first game was Super Mario 64. Well, that's not the case for me. I had Tetris 64, or as it's properly called, uh, the new Tetris. But 20 years later, it's not so new anymore, is it? Uh, probably even closer to 25. I hate that when, when companies put new in the name of their game. The new whatever. Hate it. Can't stand it. But here we are. It's a me, a Mario. Now, I, I have had some experience with this game before, but uh, so it's not going to be like a completely blind let's play. So we're just going to play through. We're just going to have some fun, you and me here. Good afternoon, the lack of bro, the lack of two bros here, reporting live from just outside the princess's castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. I just came for some cake, bro. Get the camera out of my face. A seasoned cameraman will be shooting the, uh, from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons. Um, imagine, <laughs> imagine being in an interview and the person with the camera, the microphone holds it out to you and they just tell you to start pushing buttons in real life. That'd be awkward. Uh, for clarity, I am playing this on an emulator right now. I do own the game. Get off my back. Uh, but for some reason, I couldn't get the N64 to work with the capture card. So we're just going to go ahead. We're just going to go ahead and just vibe with uh, with good old Super Mario 64. Welcome. No one's home. Now scram. Don't tell me what's going on. My dad. I haven't seen my dad. In, well, actually, I just came back from seeing my dad. Me personally. But Mario. Oh, my God. How do these controls work? <laughs> Remember how I said this wasn't going to be a blind let's play and it was going to be somewhat, somewhat, you know, practiced and played or something. I don't know. I don't. Wait. What? What? What is this? My controller doesn't work. <laughs> You've been made a fool. I lied. This isn't going to be a Super Mario 64 uh, let's play at all. I lied. Instead, what we're going to be playing is a horror game called Another Princess is in Our Castle. And it is based, well, it takes place in the Super Mario 64 universe. So, you've been bamboozled. I'm going to get jump scared. This is like my third try tying, trying to tip. We're going to hop into it. I did play it a little bit, so I kind of know what to expect. Uh, and like I said, I've been trying to record this, but for some reason, I've been having lots and lots of problems. So... Difficulties right out of the gate. All you need to know is that there's a P-Wing difficulty. No one's home. Explore Peach's castle as you like. Nothing will bother you. Invincibility mode, which is weird because they actually have an invincibility leaf where Peach is patrolling her castle and she can't see very far and she never sees you going into a chest. She also doesn't hear it all and she won't chase you very fast. What am I talking about? You might be asking yourself. Well, don't worry about that. We're going to play the Fire Flower difficulty. Peach and two toads are patrolling the castle. They can see and hear pretty far and can see you going inside of a chest if they are close. They will also chase you pretty fast. One thing that I did just notice down here is that checkpoints will be implemented soon. Until then, good luck. That does not fill me with confidence. But here we are in the wonderful... Oh, I forgot immediately. I literally, this is like I said, this is my third take trying to film this and I already completely forgot. For those of you who don't know, I am one of the Neanderthals that plays inverted mouse. 
This is a mouse and keyboard game after all, and I play inverted, always have, always will. I can't figure it out. Oh, except for right now when I have to play standard and this is weird. So if the gameplay looks extraordinarily atrocious, I apologize. I promise I am trying something. I don't know if it's my best, but it's I'm trying. I'm trying some. I am. I, I'm I. Hello. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and grab the key. One thing that I noticed about this game immediately is how like true to the original game it is. It's very, very good. So right down to the graphics and everything. If this wasn't first person, you wouldn't even know I wasn't playing. Uh, you think it's like an HD texture pack for Super Mario 64 or something. Um, but we have a key, as you can see at the bottom right corner of uh, your screen. We have a stamina meter, which does refill pretty quickly, thankfully. But if that stamina meter depletes all the way, we have to wait for it to fill up again completely. And if that sounds like a bad time, well, I hate to tell you, but that's a bad time. Now, I will say I have not beaten the game yet. Uh, but I do understand what I'm supposed to do. But anyway, all the doors in the castle are completely boarded up. Everything is boarded up except for the door that leads into the princess's chambers, where within you will find a lantern. Now, grabbing the lantern, we're going to make our way out. And Oh, there she is. <laughs> Why did she start there? This is not a joke. Why did she start? Did she always start there? Why did she start there? All right. We're going to go. We're going to grab the lamp. And I'm just going to immediately jump into the chest. I don't remember her starting there. Oh, that is bullshit. No, she always starts there. Hmm. By the way, Peach is a boo. Not my boo. She's a boo. All right, so that's one of the threats in this castle. One of the other threats. I heard you. No, 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 no. Is Toad. One of those Toads. We're going to run in here immediately and grab this. So I didn't really give you, didn't really give you the premise of the game. Uh, we need to find... We picked up a soul, and what it was... It was a, a creature over there from the Dire Dire Docks level. This isn't Dire Dire Docks, is it? I don't remember. Anyway... We have to find five of the souls and make our way up into the big door. Now, what is in the big door exactly? I don't know. Uh, however, I do know that the souls are going to be in each of these rooms. Um, the souls are going to be in each of these rooms where the levels are normally. All right, there's a toad down there. Peach is over there, so we're going to... We're going to scooch up here a little bit. Uh-huh. This... No, thank you! This is where we have to go. Get to, get to the box, 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 box. Come on. Come on, give it to me. She was forever away! She was light years away! She was a million years away! Oh, that's gonna suck. Okay, well, that's the premise of the game. You have to sneak around the castle, find a whole bunch of souls, get into that room up there, and then whatever happens, I don't know. Okay. So, Toad's right there. Toad is chasing me. Look at him. Look at him. He doesn't know I'm here. Those toads, if you get too close to them, well, you'll see. But I think we're safe. I think we're safe. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, no, no, I'm just going to hop back in. Grab that soul. Okay, that was a good call. Now, the toads open the doors, even though they're still, they're technically ghosts. They still have to open the doors. The princess does not. See? Right on time. This whole video is scripted, apparently. No. Is it safe to get out? I don't know. No, it is not. No, it is not. No, 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 no. You see nothing. Don't get off me. Go away. <laughs> they start chopping. Up. Oh, sh this bullshit. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. No, 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 no. It's bullshit. I hate it. Oh, I hate it. No, there's so many. I'm dead. I'm dead. There's no way. God. 
Ah! You know what? I, I, I might turn it back down just one difficulty peg, because wow. If they catch you, there is there is nothing you can do. It is game over. It's not been too bad so far, but it does feel a little cheap and a little bit unfair at some sometimes. I, I will say that so far. That has been my experience. No! Ah, uh, nothing. 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 Okay, here she is. Mario. Nah. I am going down one. <laughs> I'll jump up to the higher difficulties later. I want to see what's behind the door. Now, one one criticism I do have of this game so far, it, like I said previously, is the ch the spike in difficulty. Even one peg. I went. There's like eight difficulties or something. Like, oh yeah, see what I mean? If if your stamina wheel runs low, that was hard to say. Stamina wheel runs low. Uh, you can't run until it's completely full again. Here, I'm gonna test something because I'm pretty sure she wasn't there. Oh, she absolutely was. Oh, she 100% was there. Interesting. But yeah, Mario. just going down one peg in difficulty has made traversing the castle so much easier. What I don't... I haven't tried yet, and maybe we will if, if we have some time at the end of the video here. Uh, one thing I would like to try is... If uh, one peg up makes it that much harder. All right, so they are both just over there. So I'm just going to immediately grab this soul. Make my way into the main hall. Can we leave? Can we just... No, we cannot. All right. Question answered. All right. E. 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 Oh. Both of them! Aw, you guys taking a little walk around? You no. Know? You taking a little walk around the castle having some fun? In my uh, a previous recording attempt, we had an instance where they both became stuck on each other in one of the halls. I don't like it when you go, ah! Can I leave? No, I can't! Look at that. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about when the difficulty, like, the difficulty levels make no sense. Because if if I was in this situation on the, the normal difficulty, as it were, uh, I absolutely would have been killed. All right, I'll just go ahead and kill you real quick. Oh, you respawned right in front of me. That's nice of you. You just spawn here. Or is that just unlucky? I'm gonna go ahead and guess that was just unlucky. No! Be safe, be safe, be safe, be safe, be safe, be safe. Be safe. Mario. Look at that! Oh my god. Like I said, it's entirely it's part of it is 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 like I need a, a serious dose of get good here. Uh however. Some of it is just absolute bull honky. Is bull shit. Mario. No. I think I think one of my criticisms of this so far has been that the hallways and the rooms and everything they look great. They're pretty pretty well scaled to size. However, <laughs> there is not enough room. Okay. And five. <laughs> we got some type of notice there. But that is all five of the souls that I know of so far. Because now we have to go up to the great big star door up at the top of the stairs to the left. In the actual Mario 64, that was eight stars to get into that power door, that power star door. But I don't, it's only five here. It should be, uh, it should be noted that this is still a game in development. So it's not perfect. It's not complete. And uh, you can, I'll provide a link to where you can play this game. In the description! You didn't see anything. 
You saw nothing. I love the use of the uh, endless stairs sound for the uh, the the runaway theme. We've got all five of our souls. We've got one angry princess and one angry toad. Come on, leave me alone. I don't know where you are. I don't. I don't like this. No! Oh, it's such bullshit. Let me live, please. I just want to see what's behind the door. Let me out of this room. <laughs> Let me out of this room, please. I am. I'm all but begging you. Okay, so what I've learned is to go out that door. Toad. Toad is not a problem. The problem is Princess Peach or Peach Boo. If Toad gets you, you just mash E until he pops away. Where is Princess Boodstool? Oh, hello, Toad. Later. No! Oh. <laughs> this difficulty is almost a joke. Oh, I kind of feel bad about it, honestly. All right, we're behind the door. There's that classic, ooh, a key. There's the classic Princess Peach image that is definitely not gonna turn into a bow. Bowser. Okay. Well, that is slightly horrifying. All right, so there is a key door. <laughs> there is a key door up here on this floor. But if this is anything like the original um, Super Mario 64, then Mario. no, then we have to go to the basement. All right, we just have to get around to Peach. I still don't, they included a crouch, like so you could like teabag, I guess, if you really wanted to, but I don't, I don't understand what the purpose of it is yet. It's probably a, a feature that's still in development. All right, key. All right, just screw it. Just jump. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. 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 We're gonna go to the basement. I'm gonna go to the basement. I'm just gonna trust that this is the, the key to the basement. Boom! It was. All right. So that's five stars. So what's next? What the fuck? I don't know what I expected. Like I said, it's a game still in development, but Jesus Christ. Thank you for playing, and thank you for all the support you've shown this little parody game of mine. Feel free to share your opinions and suggestions over on GameJolt and Itch.io. Stay tuned for following updates. See ya. That was Another Princess is in Our Castle. And it is, I think it's a good start. I think it's it's got a lot of potential to be something really interesting. Especially if we... Uh, if you expand and actually have the entire game take place throughout the castle. Uh, I think checkpoints are going to be severely needed. Maybe not in between each soul, but maybe as you get to a key and then you open up a new door, maybe that's where the checkpoints are going to be. I have no idea what the developer's planning. Um, developed by CM9 Animation. I'm going to stop it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as I said earlier, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, like the video, comment in the comment section down below what your favorite Super Mario uh, Brothers or Super Mario game is in general. Yeah, as always, stay awesome. Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.